Hey, you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization 6, featuring a preview build of Gathering Storm. And we are playing as the Maori over here, a very interesting civilization that actually starts at sea. We have gone ahead and settled two cities at this point. We've got the Galapagos Islands over here, which I just realized, um, I done goofed. I should have settled here to be work, able to work well. It wouldn't make much of a difference. We can already work one, yeah, so three, three, three. If I had settled down here, I'd also be able to reach this one. Okay, no, that's fine, because there's still some good stuff over here. All right, just making sure that I didn't completely uh, screw myself here. Past, hey, early empires is on changing empires that rose and fell. We, okay, we have our Pantheon. I know I was talking about I want to switch to Ilkum, but I'm actually going to switch to colonization first. Uh, the reason being, yeah, I think we went from six to four turns in the settler. That's really nice. We can get our first governor. Clearly, Liang is going to be a big deal for us because the um, aquaculture is going to be massive. Magnus is a lot less valuable here because we're not going to be chopping down trees. So we'll start with Liang. I'm going to be quite pleased with that. And I don't think it matters which of the two cities we put her in first. I guess what we'll do is we'll put her in the capital because this is most likely to start a builder first. Okay, that'll be fine. But yeah, we're definitely going to want our aquaculture as soon as possible. We just got a border pop over there. Excellent. Uh, warrior, yeah. I'm going to keep a warrior here just in case um, Incas decide to do something a little crazy and attack immediately. I mean, we do have 20 strength walls. Okay, Ancient Era ends in 10 turns. Um, if we end up being a Dark Age, it's not the end of the world. Because I don't think loyalty is going to be an issue with what we've got going on here. And then we could Heroic Age. I mean, if we enter a Normal Age, it's also fine. Okay, you're done. Liang's getting set up. It is going to be six turns. Uh, I mean, we could wait on the boost, but no. We want the government as quickly as possible. Uh, do I start on the Builder right away? By the time the Builder is done, Liang's going to be there, so I'll get the extra charge. Although I might just want to start on a campus. Wait, 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 wait. What? Hold on. Okay, as I say, I can't, can't I chop the Rainforest? No, I can't, not until I get the right technology. Um, hmm, right. Interesting. All right, go ahead, go ahead with the builder then, or or ship. I mean, we could get error score from it if we're concerned about not being in the dark age. No, it's fine. I'll just go with the builder. I'm okay with this. And then yeah, we're gonna move you over here. There's some desert tiles. This is not. Don't get excited. It's not a good Petra location. Um, placement wise, I move this way. Then I get the crabs, but then I lose the turtles. If I go here, I get both the crabs and the turtles. But then, then we don't have the forest, which is really quite nice for us. And go down here. We get we get the double. Oh no, we get the fish regardless. I think I will go here. It just feels good. I don't know. It's it's fairly close. We'll do this. Crabs are a luxury, or sorry, the, the the turtles are a luxury, which is more valuable than these crabs. And it starts with the fish adjacent immediately, so we can we can work on it pretty quick. Yeah, that's going to be nice. What we might do is take a little when deep from settlement war, shall after this, overturn and broil. um, until we can get our government plaza built and and we unlock our government choice so that we can get the um, the I'm super good at settling thing. Uh, Celestial Navigation will come pretty quickly. I don't know if it's what we want to rush first. Uh, we do want Irrigation to be able to unlock this. I don't know if we're anywhere close to farming a resource. Like, we don't have wheat, rice, anything like that. What's our priority? I mean, some archers for defense is really strong. We're not going to kill anything with a slinger. Tell you what, I'll just research archery directly. We're not going to do the settler, the slinger thing, and we might want to build some defensive archers. And we're not Canada. Someone could surprise war us. 
Oh, right. I had talked about maybe settling over here. Oh, but you can see the loyalty issues. So no, we're going to go here, especially since we might hit a dark age. We are going to go and settle over here. And that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Um, I don't think we have to rush the ancient walls. I think what we'll do is we'll get a builder here. We're still we're still planning on switching to Ilkum as soon as we get the, uh, the next uh, thing over here. Um, I guess you can go and just explore again, then. That's going to be okay. Because we're not going to be settling close enough to get loyalty issues. And I think I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay with getting into a Dark Age. We might not. Something might happen. But because then we can prob possibly trigger a Heroic Age. And yeah, we'll hard research this because we're not building a district right now. Uh, we will have to get the technology. That's actually maybe what I should have done instead of archery. Is get the technology to be able to um, remove rainforest so I can actually put some stuff there. Monuments, granaries, all good. Building a boat, good. Um, and the boat won't be done before the era change. Which is fine. Well, it would be if I did this. The Quadream's a little more powerful, though. Movement's the same? Three and three? I like the Bombard. We could do some early warfare, maybe, even with a bunch of Quadreams. That's... Let's get it started here. And we are going to go Builder. Because, again, I'm going to be starting Ilkum in a second. And maybe I should just go ahead and get one more Builder done then. Let's, let's go and do that. And then we can switch to some boats. And you've got this and you've got that. We've got some money. I could buy something. I could buy a Builder here, I suppose. But I'm not gonna. I could buy some tiles. Which, actually, I'm kind of tempted to buy this tile here. Which is what I'm going to do. There we go. Something else that will have a value. Deny him from that. Nothing else I think is going to get rushed. Again, we could buy some units. I think I'm going to hold off for now. I, I mean, buying a builder over the, here a might be nice. Maybe we'll just buy a settler once we get things kicked in. Okay, policy change. We get rid of colonization. We run Ilkum. We do have maritime industries. We are going to have to do a slew of boats too at some point here. Um, and yeah, let's go to bronze working so that we can remove rainforest and we'll reveal iron. We'll reveal that we don't have iron. I think we're going to promote you immediately for aquaculture here, which is going to be brilliant. All right, fishery, fisheries production if she's in the city. Yeah. I mean, we'll probably still move around to build the fisheries, but that's okay. Fishing boat. There we go. Celestial navigation boost is nice. And we get another border pop. Not that it really terribly matters. Hmm. What barbarians? What are you talking about? There are no barbarians running around my house. Are there? Be a little scary. Um, I guess, do I use the, all the builder charges for the fisheries? And we've got the population working on improved tiles. I mean, not that the fishery tiles would be... That's a fair amount of food. And it gets production because she's in the city. We may as well, I guess. Right, I didn't buy the cotton, right? We auto-expanded to that? Yes, because we were going to pop this anyway. I think it auto-expanded to there. Mutual open borders, a little bit of gold. Sure. I guess if we'd gotten this fish done, the fishing boat done sooner, then we would have auto-expanded somewhere else instead. All right, so we get a Dark Age dedication. Um... I still quite like generating the um, generating the science Eurekas. And you're still a good fishery because, yeah, you're adjacent to two things. This is a huge food tile. Maybe prioritizing that first. I mean, it's only a couple turns difference, but still. Um, you want Eureka for iron working. Maybe we could do that. I think we build an iron mine. That's how we Eureka that. We'll see what we can do. It's so a trade route still going to Brussels. At some point it will end. That'll be good. We did our policy is going to be okay. We do have these. We don't have any wild card slots right now. But we will once we finish political philosophy. We're probably not going to kill the barbarians. So we're going to do that. Did you build a... Um... Can you build tunnels? Is that the Incan ability? Uh, this will actually be a really strong fishery, too, because it's adjacent to two sea resources. All right. That's pretty good. 
And I'm actually happy I built the other builder here because we'll be using those charges quickly. We can work on the Temple of Artemis. I mean, we've got a couple of camps. It's pretty good, but no. Uh, I'm going to start building the boats. Um, I mean, we can spam out. I can't remember. Do we already have the build two galleys boost? Oh, that was in science, wasn't it? Yeah, I think, um, I think it was one of those. So we could just go straight into Quadreams, at least for now, since they're the superior military unit. We may as well do all the fisheries now, and we'll move Liang over. It's going to be okay. Boom, boom, boom. You're being built, you're doing this. Okay, everything is fine. No wars yet. So we can't build a fishery here because it's the ocean, I guess. Although, wasn't this an ocean tile too? Oh no, that was coast. Okay. So that's it for those fisheries. So yeah, we'll move up. I mean, we probably will build a farm there. I don't know, we might do a theater square there. Because actually, that's one of the things we're going to want to build pretty aggressively. The of the reveal some iron. Why? And we reveal no iron, as far as I know. I mean, I could just be, you know, missing it, because that's the sort of thing I would do. I'm going to go ahead and hide the yield icons here. Always a lot of people that want it one way. Some people want it the other. It's, it's a little cleaner this way, at least. Okay. Um, we've got some boosts. We are clearly going to want some harbors. Probably okay. If we can get the Great Lighthouse, that'd be amazing too. It might be a little tricky to do, but we can probably start on this. Classical era, Politics era score. The the there you go. Civic complete. Um, we're not really doing great person points or anything. We're not really doing wonders right now either. I guess it comes down. What policies are we interested in running? I mean, Maritime Industries is nice for running more boats. But I think, actually, we're going to run Classical Republic for now. We still want Ilkum. We can get a little bit of money from this. I think what we do is Urban Planning. Um, the first Envoy, Diplomatic League, is still really handy for us. And for a wild card policy, so we can't train or buy settlers when we're running Isolationism. Um, oh, that's a domestic trade route. Yeah, holy sites, inquisitors, combat. Maybe I just run this for now, or actually, maybe I just run maritime industries in the um, in the wild card slot for now. I mean, we might change to some uh, uh, internal trade routes. Yeah, let's run this. Let's still pop out a few more boats. I don't know. Mysticism. I mean, I guess we may as well go for. Oh yeah, this will give us our, our actual wildcard policies that we want. That is very important. Hey, okay, era score. First boat. I think I'll build another. We'll see. Uh, you've built a builder over here, which is nice. And I'm going to get started on a campus right there. Absolutely. Thank you very much. The boats are just going to be put on auto explore for now. You're going to come here, push out the borders. All right, we're free from every want. Can do. What is your What is your deal? No, no, no. Give me my turn. Um, Lord of the Mines tries to maximize gold output from cities and trade routes. Respect civilizations and act similarly. Okay, and what, what is your agenda? Wants to settle near mountains like those who leave the areas near mountains to him. Right. Well, we'll see what, what goes on with that as we go forward. So there's nothing else we can build with this settler, this builder right now, unless we were to buy another tile. We have tons of money, too. Um, we should probably do some more of this. What we actually have to do, we'll probably move Liang here. Actually, let's move her there now. I know it's going to hurt the production here, but I think we're going to really appreciate having this city grow pretty strongly from that. Um, let's go ahead and purchase this. There we go. Drop the quarry. That's going to be fine. Still have lots of money. Can we actually buy a settler? Not quite. We could have. And soon we probably will. I can build the government plaza. 
which I'm also going to want to do ASAP. And then we're going to want to go on a settler spree. Militant mysticism. Okay, we'll take that out. We'll generate great science points. That's going to be okay. I guess there might still be profits to claim, but I don't think we're going to get one. Um, do we switch out of Ilkum? No, I think there's still some of that going on. No, there isn't, actually. Switching out of Ilkum would have been good, but I've already locked it in by doing that. I should have X'd out. Well, that sucks. There's our unique building over here. Theater Square, unique building, which does do amazing, crazy stuff for us. Government Plaza. Again, I'd rather keep the, uh, the wood here, so let's do this and do that. Send an envoy. Oh, everyone's already got one. Okay. Um, so we don't really care where we send the others. Other than the fact that keeping Hattusa on our side would be really handy. So we'll do that. Make sure you don't suzerain to someone I don't approve of. Uh, how's your border growth looking? To there. Okay. And we'll just hang out over there until it grows to that spot, which seems fine. Um, you are going to come here and improve this. And then you actually... Oh, you can go and improve the borders here. You've got a fair amount of stuff kicking around, but I think we're okay. Unless we want to get walls here first, but... I don't know. I'm still fine. We do have the money to emergency purchase something. We could send our boats over here, too. But hey, maybe we stay friendly for now. Be content with the lowlands. Yeah, I mean, we do have a, a few mountains here, but not too many. You can't be that cranky, right? Fishing boat. Boom. It doesn't culture bomb into ocean tiles? No, that's coast. Wait, so, hold on. Because it's, it's more than three tiles away from the city. Oh, you can't culture bomb outside of a range of the city. Now, if we'd had a city here, would have culture bomb? Probably. Interesting. Okay. You want some of my diplo power for a horse and some money? No. <laughs> Mutual open borders are fine, though. Okay. Lazy and unworthy. If we produce nothing... Okay, so you don't you don't approve of the amount of production I'm doing. A little tough. Uh, yeah, that's fine. The housing bonus, if nothing else, is going to be nice. We're not settling near a bunch of rivers, so at least we're not having to worry about flooding the same way. You really want this influence. I don't know, maybe it's worth getting early. Hey! Hey, Suleiman, how's it going, man? Nice gem. And the fur's good, too. Actually, nice texturing of the uh, the sort of silk jacket, too. Alright, we'll be friendly, for now. Again, we might end up going domination stuff. But there's no reason to start trouble right at this time. We'd rather spam out a bunch of cities. Um, yeah, we're gonna start working towards irrigation, because we have no ability to boost that. So... We'll do this, and we'll just hang out here until the cotton is available. You're going to hang out there, which is going to be fine. We have a lot of exploration going on, which is also going to be good. We're going to keep building boats. We do have the... Well, we don't have the build boats faster thing. Which we may want to make a change. <gasps> you get a builder. Nice. As I say, I think it spawns in the nearby city, which is really handy. Uh, Liang's about to come in here, so we're going to be ready to build some aquaculture as soon as she does. I guess we don't have enough sea tiles. We may have wanted to wait a little bit longer. Maybe what I'll do is I'll buy the, um, buy the turtle or something like that. I need you to move. Oh, maybe you can't embark. Let me do this so I can move out of your way. Plus three food. And Lane will be giving production boosts over here, too. You know what? Early on, the money is really handy. You know what? Let's sell our Diplo votes. After all. We'll take the money early on. And we could just buy a settler. I kind of do want to just buy a settler, you know? I'm going to wait until the government plazas. I guess we got to wait for two buildings to be done. I could probably earn the money. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll wait for now. Uh, trade route out of here. We actually do have more trade route missions, so I guess we'll do that for the envoy. Internal trade routes are good. Man, that Brussels one. Landmarks? Make the path easier. Water tiles, railroads, canals, mountain tunnels, and your trading posts. Damn! I'm still gonna send you to Granada over here, though. 
for the envoy, but wow. And it actually might open up more um, more landmarks along the way. Okay, seriously, you gotta move, buddy. The man who has grit enough to bring. Or you know what? I guess I should have just gone down to the uh, the olives. At least I can still do it on turn one. So we're gonna plantation that up. That's gonna be okay. We've got the boosted currency already. I don't know if we're rushing towards a commercial hub. I mean, someone wants us to build it, but mostly we're gonna be doing harbors and stuff. Um, must be built in a desert hill, which we don't have. We have some flat desert, but that's it. Watermills doesn't help us. Are we anywhere close to building a pasture? No. All right, we'll just do currency for now, because we might be able to trigger some more of those. We've got the empanada here, Temple of Artemis. I don't think those are in the cards. I think what we have to do is get started on our campus building. So if I build here, we do lose the rainforest, but it is going to have plus two adjacency because of the rainforest, which we are going to be keeping in the long run. We need to get campuses going, obviously. I mean, come on, but stuff happened. All right, we're going to go ahead and do that, giving us extra tiles. You're going to move over here. I will purchase this tile as well. And then we'll fishing boat that up. Choose your final charge, but that's okay. We've got another quadream. Uh, wow, strength 12. We actually could hammer these cities really early on if we wanted to. It's it's very tempting. 25 uh, bombing. Uh, we're building the campus, so we're not doing a melee ship yet. Okay, just auto explore a little bit for now, but we may uh, we may recall you sooner rather than later. Okay, that's being produced, and I want the I want the ancestral hall for faster settler production. It's so twenty turns, but uh, we could give you another promotion, uh, boost towards constructing districts. Actually, yes. Because we are, in fact, produ producing a district here already. So we're going to appreciate having that in place. And it's district, not district buildings, right? I read that correctly. Districts, yeah. Ooh, m big volcano eruption over there. I mean, he's got the advantage of having the, the volcano and also the disadvantage. We have no interesting terrain going on for that at this time. Which, you know what? I appreciate the reduced RNG right now. Uh, your population is about to grow by one, which is nice. Uh, we could have you be production focused, but honestly, no. What we need is the stone improved. Um, and we use the last charge over here. I know I want to buy settlers, and I do, but we are going to buy a builder over here so we get the extra charge. And we might just move Wealth you over consists. to All the main the island. Stage. And all the men and so we're not producing builders right now. We will want to, but we aren't currently. So are we going to make any changes? Urban planning still fine. We'll get rid of Diplomatic League, since right now it's not doing anything for us. We're not running internal trade routes. We don't need any of that. Great scientist points are still cool. Um, we are... Well, we're going to spam out settlers, but not quite yet. We'll probably take care of Ansari for a little bit of extra cash for now. I mean, our income's great, but we are we, there's a lot of stuff we want to sneak in. Um, the Petra's very cool, but this is not a place to build the Petra. I'm sorry, it's just not. I guess we're not going to be building an iron mine anytime soon that we know of. Maybe I'll do a bunch of half researches. Minor resource. Yeah, even that. Yeah, we, we might just do a bunch of half researches since we don't need to rush any of those techs. It's going to be okay. Um, and we are unlikely to ever found a religion, so I might just do theology currently. Since I'm not really... I mean, the Great Lighthouse would be really cool, but we actually have... The placement's going to be hard. I guess on Archipelago, even the AI is going to have a hard time placing some of this. Um, we could build more aquaculture stuff here. Actually, I'll at least build this one, because that's going to have a really good um, adjacency. But then I will send it somewhere else. Quadream... We'll uh, bombard. Oh, it has a range of one, right? Yeah. Forgot about that with the dream. Still, get that started that way. Hello, Dido. Nice to meet you. Let's change information on capitals. Um, I don't really need a horse. But I'll take the money. You know what? We'll just do it this way. It's fine. Maybe we can sell the horse somewhere else. We have one whole horse. Oh! Oh, there's a lot of boats here. We need to run away. 
run away aggressively. And they can still catch us here. We'll see. Machu Picchu got done. Yeah, well, fishery here. Huge food adjacency stuff going on. Camp is nearly done. We're not a worthy example to the rest of the world. Well, that's a shame. How dare you? Oh, good. You made it. All right. So you're going to run all the way back over here so you can heal up. Um, we'll go ahead and get the Envoy to Hattusa because it actually gives us a bunch of strategic resources and we are going to have a library in, you know, hopefully not too distant future. For Suzerain, giving us Era Score. Great. So yeah, that's been built. Oh, you're not even working that tile. So you're, you're good on tiles, definitely for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to move you way over here to hook up that stone. Uh, we found some tribe stuff. Suzerain stuff. Yes, good, excellent. Campus coming in. Wonderful. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a cut in here. Yeah, as soon as the Ancestral Hall is done, we're going to go We're going to go ham. We're going to switch to the bonus to um, colony stuff, and we're going to do a lot of that. But in the meantime, what we might do is work on more boats. We don't have the Builder Boost, which is too bad, but we'll need boats to protest our colonists here, apparently, which is going to be a thing. Hey, there's a bunch of iron. Um, and yeah, we're just going to try to fill the world with our... Uh, with our settlements, see how well we can do while also having a navy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.